Good afternoon. God remains so, so good to us, even in times like this. I want to read you a few verses from Psalm chapter 16. The first verse says, Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. It's a good reminder that in the midst of trying times, we can take our refuge in the Lord. And it's a good reminder as well that when times are not so trying, we can still and should still find our refuge in the Lord. When everything around us fails us, when, when the economy fails us, when our government fails us, when our own bodies fail us, we can still take refuge in the Lord. Verse 2, it says, I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. And isn't that the truth as well? There is nothing that we can do on our own that is of any eternal significance apart from God. But there's nothing that we have that hasn't come from the Lord. And there's no good that we have. And there's no good that we can understand apart from it coming from the giver of all good things. I want to skip down to verse 8. It says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Do you hear that today? I shall not be shaken because the Lord is with me. In times like this, many of us may, may wonder what is next. We may not know what tomorrow brings and we may have this uncertainty that can shake us to our core. But God is with us and therefore we cannot we will not be shaken let's use this time to show the world around us that we are not shaken and it's not because we are great it's not because we are strong it's because he is great and it's because he is strong verse uh, 9 it says therefore my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices my flesh also dwells secure. We can be secure. We can have joy. We can rejoice and we can be glad even in times like this because our God is good. It's not the circumstances that should determine our mood. It's not the circumstances and the situation that should tell us if we have good faith or big faith or anything like that. It's the object of our faith. It is who our trust is in. We do not need to fear. We do not need to shift because of the circumstances. We can remain secure, steadfast, and rejoicing because our God remains God.